And I'm going to demonstrate today the art and science of control pollinations. This is part of our Salt Timber Elite Breeding Program, and we're making crosses among very highly selective parent trees, some of the very best material that we have. What I want to show you is inside this pollination bag are female strobili. We, we call them flowers, but they're actually strobili. They are inside this PBS International, which is a woven bag. Uh, that, that actually isolates the female strobili and protects them from the outside pollen. Because what we want to do is make a specific cross between this tree, which we have top grafted actually a couple of years ago, and the pollen that I'll be showing you here in a moment. Uh, it's a fairly typical pollination day, a bit breezy today, not too bad. And in fact, inside the pollen bag, there has been a bit of wind damage on some of the some of the strobili. That's not unusual for this time of year. They had 30 and 40 mile an hour winds here a couple days ago, so we did have some damage. This is a cyclone pollinator. Uh, it was actually a a device used by plant pathologists to collect spores. The process has been reversed. Rather than sucking in spores, we're actually going to be de delivering pollen uh, in a reverse direction from collecting spores. We're actually delivering the material to the tree. This pollen has been kept in a cooler. I took it out just a few minutes ago. This is one of our selections that I will be making the control cross on. And you can see it's been capped. We want to minimize pollen contamination. We do everything possible to minimize getting pollen from another tree into this. You can see uh, the pollen, I put about a cc of pollen in there. And I'll take off the cork, set it over here. We keep that there just for protection because these needles are sharp. And I'm actually holding the bag securely and poking that needle into the pollination bag. And you'll see here, I'm holding the pollen down and start squeezing the bulb. And you can see what happens. We are just putting a massive amount of pollen, uh, about, a, about a milliliter or a cc. And the nice thing about these cyclone pollinators is that after you deliver the pollen, you can squeeze it several times. And I do it 10 or 15 times just to circulate the pollen around in the bag. And it really helps to deliver a lot of pollen to those strobili and will increase seed yield. One of the things we do is we take a piece of tape. This is a high quality plastic tape and we actually cover that hole that I just made because we want to minimize or come as close to minimizing or eliminating any outside pollen contamination. And you can see there, there's the strobili that have been pollinated. Uh, these are about ideal for pollination, stage four, late stage four, early stage five. And we will come back probably in a couple weeks, maybe 10 days, remove this bag. And then 18 months from now, the cones will be mature and we'll be harvesting this control cross. Uh, this is a technique that's been used for years in pine. You can see here in the seed orchard, in our breeding orchard, there's lots of pollination bags. We put up over 300 this year. And the pollination season is just starting, but here over the next week or so, we should have all these crosses made. You can see the bags here we made those crosses a little bit ago. Uh, I failed to mention on this one, but you can see on this tree, we've actually got a tag on it and the flagging, you can see it a lot better on these trees. Everything above that tag and above that orange and, and white stripe, stripe flagging, all the cones we collect in 18 months will come from that specific cross. Uh, everything below or outside of that would be open pollination, uh, could be another cross. You can see there's actually two separate pollens on that tree. So we're very, very careful to make sure that we know what cross is what. And again, the tagging and the flagging is very, very critical for identifying that material. So I hope you learned something here this afternoon. Again, uh, those ought to be ready in 18 months and we ought to have very, very good seed yields. And, and you can 
can see here, here's the parent trees, the two, the, the female listed first, the male listed second. This one is identified.